Ashto T27 and ASTM C136 are the standard method of test for sieve analysis of both fine and coarse aggregate. The coarse portion of an aggregate is considered the material which is retained on the number 4 sieve, while the fine portion is considered the material which passes the number 4 sieve. Proper gradation of both your coarse and fine aggregate can greatly influence the workability of your concrete as well as other properties including strength and durability. To perform this test we will need a mechanical sieve shaker unless hand sieving, a set of nested sieves appropriate for the aggregate in which we are testing, a balance both ASHTO and ASTM require that the balance be accurate to 0.1% of the expected mass, while ASTM also approves scales readable to 0.1 gram. And finally, an oven, accurate to 110 plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius. We will now review the key steps of ASHTO T27 and ASTM C136. Once again, these steps come directly from the technician's handbook. The first thing we want to do is to dry our sample to a constant mass. Be sure to record this weight as we will be using it throughout our procedure. Next, we want to nest the appropriate sieves in decreasing sizes. The sieves that we use will depend upon the maximum size aggregate. Here we are using 8 inch sieves with a maximum size of 9.5 mm as we are doing a fine aggregate sample. Next, we want to pour our sample into the top sieve. We want to take care not to overload any individual sieve. We can use guard sieves if necessary or test the sample in smaller increments. We can now agitate the sieves by hand or mechanical means. For our sample, we will be using a mechanical sieve shaker. Be sure to set the timer on the sieve shaker to the appropriate calibrated time. For mixtures of both coarse and fine aggregate, split the portion finer than the 4.75 mm or number 4 sieve as necessary. We want to sieve until not more than 0.5% by mass of retained particles pass a given sieve after one minute of agitation. Remember, for ASTM this is 1% mass retained after one minute of agitation. Now that we've completed sieving, we want to determine the mass of each individual sieve to the nearest 0.5%. We also want to total the mass of all individual increments and determine that it is within 0.3% of the original sample mass. If the sample was previously washed using ASHTO T11 or ASTM C117, add the material that passed the 75 micron sieve by washing to the material that passed the 75 micron sieve during dry sieving. Now that we've completed our sieving, there are a series of calculations that we must perform. Two calculations we already discussed is determining the mass of each individual sieve to the nearest 0.1%. We also want to determine that our sample after sieving is within 0.3% of our original sample weight. We're also going to calculate the percent material passing each sieve and finally, we'll calculate the finest modulus, reporting this number to the nearest 0 0.01. For our example, we will be doing a fine aggregate analysis. Therefore, we want to set up our table with the left-hand column being the sieve sizes starting with the 9.5 millimeter sieve. This is to ensure that all the material passes through that sieve. The next column is going to be the individual masses retained on each sieve, followed by the individual percent retained on each sieve, and finally the cumulative percent retained on each sieve.
We now want to record the weight on each individual sieve to the nearest 0.1 gram. Now that we've recorded all of our individual weights, one of the first things that we can check is to ensure that our material is within 0.3% of the original sample weight. And if we add up all of the individual increments, we wind up with 310.1 grams, and since our original weight was 311 grams, we have retained 99.7% of the original sample weight and are within the 0.3%. Now that we know our test is valid, we can go ahead and calculate the individual percent retained on each sieve. We do this by taking the mass retained on each sieve and dividing it by the original sample weight and then multiply this number by 100. And if we do our calculations, we wind up with 0% on the 9.5 millimeter sieve, followed by 1% on the 4.75 millimeter sieve, followed by 15.2% on the 2.36 millimeter sieve, and you can see the rest of the numbers listed here. We can now calculate our accumulative percent retained. We'll need this number for two reasons. First, to get the cumulative percent passing, but also to calculate our finest modulus. We get our cumulative percent retained simply by taking the individual percent retained on any given sieve and adding to it all the previous sieves. Therefore, the 9.5 millimeter sieve has no previous sieves and the cumulative percent retained is going to be zero. For the 4.75 millimeter sieve, zero plus one is still one percent. Therefore, our first true cumulative percent retained falls on the 2.36 millimeter sieve with 16.2% cumulative percent retained. Now, if we move to the 1.18 millimeter sieve, we see that we have an individual percent retained of 17.2%, plus the 15.2% from the 2.36 millimeter sieve and the 1% from the 4.75 millimeter sieve gives us a cumulative percent retained of 33.4%. And I hope you can see now how this works, so you should be able to continue on through the rest of the sieves. We can now calculate our percent passing. To get our percent passing is actually quite simple. It is the inverse of the cumulative percent retained. Therefore, on the first sieve, if 0% was retained, then 100% must have passed. And on the 4.75 millimeter sieve, if 1% was retained, then obviously 99% must have passed, and so on. We can now go ahead and calculate our finest modulus. We get the finest modulus by adding up all of the cumulative percent retained that is coarser than the 150 micron or 100 sieve and then dividing this number by 100. So here, we take the 96.6% cumulative percent retained, which is on the 150 micron sieve, and add to it the previous sieve, which was 88.9, plus the previous sieve, which was 67.8, and so on, and we wind up with 304. We take the 304, divide it by 100, gives us a finest modulus of 3.04. This will conclude ASHTO T27 and ASTM C136, sieve analysis of both fine and coarse aggregate. Listed here are the review steps of this procedure. And finally, for your review, are the deviations between ASHTO and ASTM.